Hi, I'm Nico. And I'm Jack. In last week's video, we shared with you some of our favorite things to do here in Beijing. Mm. I've never ever seen this. We just love to cycle Forbidden City. I get to stroke lots of doggos. <laughs> but believe it or not, there are quite a lot of things we haven't actually done in the city. But that changes today. Let's, Let's go, go now. now. So we are going to take you on a journey through some of the things that we have missed intentionally. We've never ever got the bus. By accident, we've never seen a drum show. Or because it was beyond our control. But at least we get to see them at least once before we leave. Well, maybe. Again, it's closed. So we're having to plan everything around COVID. Oh, I don't know exactly what this is saying, but it don't look good. Translation, we are Okay, so I'm a little bit ashamed that I've not actually been to this place as it's so central. It's literally like two blocks away from where we live. You've been before though, right? Yeah, I came here with a friend, but I think you were probably working that day or something. Yeah, probably. And at the weekends, it gets super busy. So I haven't wanted to even try it. But it's not just my fault that I haven't been to this place as it's been sporadically open since 2020. But as luck would have it, one, it's a weekday and two, it's open. So I might finally get my chance. Let's, Let's go. go now. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this incredible entrance. I can only imagine how beautiful this place would be in autumn. So my recommendation would be to try and come around that time. When you walk in, you can see the great hall and also some little buildings around you. And it's so lovely. There's just something so peaceful about visiting temples. I can smell the incense in the air and it just feels like very calming on the soul. There he is, hello, hello, hello. Hey, up, missus, how's it going? It's going great, and I think it'll get even better soon. Jack, can you hit me with some facts? Well, handily for you, I've actually been doing quite a bit of research, which I have jotted down some notes on the back of this handy ticket here. So, Yonghagong, the largest Tibetan Buddhist temple in Beijing, was first built in 1694 as the residence of Emperor Yongzheng before he succeeded to the throne. Some other stuff, some other stuff, some other stuff. In 1981, Yonghe Gong Lama Temple reopened to the public. Wow, Jack, you know so much information. All stored in this great big noggin here. Oh my gosh, this place is amazing. It just keeps getting better and better. Just look at this amazing building behind me. You need to come here. Do not wait as long as I have. I know some of you might not actually believe this, but in four years in Beijing, we've never, ever got the bus. And actually, it seems way easier than we ever imagined. Now that I have Apple Maps, you can see the bus routes, but before, this was the only way to tell, and it's kind of difficult if you don't read Chinese. Uh... Oh. oh my God, it's a double decker. <laughs> What did you think about that then? Oh my God, that was actually probably the funniest thing I've done in like two years. Shut up. It's not the funniest thing you've done in two years. Yeah. Well, I mean, name me something funner than that. Yeah, amazing. Loved it. Let's do it again There we time. go. Wait, look what it is, missus. Yes, we are back at one of our favorite places, the Drum and Bell Tower. Now, our regret is we've never seen a drum show. No, and we only heard about that this was even a thing very recently. And now that we've heard about it, we're obsessed. We're like, we yeah. need to see this drum show. We've got to go before we leave. Let's go get cinematic fam. Here we Here are. She is. Well, I think that's the entrance. And I guess this is where you buy tickets. Oh no. Oh, I don't know exactly what this is saying, but it don't look good. Something about it being shut from the 30th of April till further notice. Oh man. Translation, we are f <laughs> Things didn't quite 
quite go to plan the other day, did it? No, it pissed down with rain and the drum tower was closed. But there still are a few things in this area that we want to try. So let's hope we have a look on our side today and we can cross off a few more of our regrets. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a beautiful sunny day. What could go wrong? Oh no, looks like we can't get in this way. <sighs> so, Mrs, what brought us here then? Well, two things actually. One, we wanted to do a rickshaw ride because... Yeah, we've never done that. We've never done that. We were super excited. We actually filmed the intro to it. Jack, should we do a rickshaw ride? I'd flip in, love that. Because we'd planned with this driver for him to take us on his rickshaw. And then he did a runner. Yeah, he <laughs> It just f***ed <laughs> off. And we couldn't find anyone else. And then it started <laughs> and down with rain. So, ah, uh, two. I wanted to play table tennis with a bad boy. Before I came to China, I had it in my mind that, yeah, I'd learn off some like wise old masper with a long wispy beard. He'd teach me to play table tennis with my hands first before I was even allowed to use a bat. <laughs> You've always been a little bit nervous because they are so yeah. good here. And you were, you know, plucking up your courage the last time we got so close. But again, it started raining. It started to rain. Live your life, guys. Do as much as you can. Yeah, you never know. Come you on. never know when the fences will become erected. What's happened? There's an app that you have to fill in your details, but it will not accept our name. Oh. <laughs> see, 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 see. We always get there in the end, but if you allow one, you have to expect an extra 30 minutes for every mission, right? So this is one of the most famous sites in the city. Why do you think we've not been here? Because we're lazy. Yeah, that's probably true. Well, after four years, we are finally at the, the Summer, Summer Palace. Palace. What have we got for lunch? We've got quite a selection, haven't we? Here we have a cheesy tortilla wrap with pickles, hot sauce, olive oil, pinch of pepper, fresh basil, and some red beetroot to spill all down my nice light t-shirt. But the sandwich is not complete. Chris, Chris sandwiches again. How's that? I think overall, a solid, Seven out of ten. Thumbs up from me, Clive. I've literally never been so close to Dags before. I just eat a shit. Yeah. Dag, mm -hmm. can you hit me with some facts? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. So this absolutely mahoosive blue beauty of a body of water is the Kunming Lake. Now it's a whopping 540 acres in size. To me or you, in layman's terms, that's absolutely bloody massive. And the most amazing thing about this lake is it was all excavated by hand. Every single bit of soil was pulled out of the ground and then dumped up on this big fat hill here, which is pretty sick. I don't know if you've noticed when you've come to the Summer Palace or whether it's just me, but the bridges here are really high. Is it just to flex and show how grand and beautiful they can be or is there an actual reason behind it so what are your thoughts on the summer palace so far cold refreshing with a lovely mango flavor what you asked what i thought about this ice cream mate right? <laughs> no another one of my regrets is not going on a boat in a park so we've come here huge lake and it's closed. Every time I try and go on a boat, it's either closed or it's too busy. We still have a few weeks left. Maybe I'll get on a boat before we leave Beijing. Oh man, it's been amazing, hasn't it? I can't believe it's taken us so long to be here. We're such flops. I know, but to be honest, we're gonna have to come back because mm. the palace itself was actually closed. Damn you, COVID. Yep, so we didn't get a chance to see that today, but we still had a great time. Like I was actually really shocked at just how big the grounds were. Yeah, there's so many like amazing places to walk around, still lots of great photo opportunities and lots of cool little buildings and pavilions to relax in. Yeah, it was just nice to have a little chill by the lake. So there you have it guys. We crossed a few things off our list, but not everything. This video didn't exactly go to plan, did it? 
No, but that does seem to be a bit of a recurring theme in our life at the minute, doesn't it? Yeah, if you want to find out more about that, then tune in to next week's video. Bye! Bye, guys.